This time next year I'll be living so good I won't bear me no pain, I swear You feel that because to like nothing and get replayed like that but um finding out is yeah, my favorite name finding out oh speaking of candy y'all know how sad i am to know i can't use skittles no more when i say her and i i literally said out loud because like the little news post had the red skittle pack i said to myself i was like hopefully it's not the purple pack <laughs> purple pack is that is my thing skittles yes but the purple pack wildberry but um what i was gonna say oh it's a no wonder i like the song so much because aubrey drake graham had everything to do with that song he wrote the lyrics or at least helped and when I listen to the lyrics, as I've been listening, it's like, yes, this is very much something Drake would say, and he would have said it in his way, and it would have been even more like, this nigga, you know? But I like Beyonce's spin on it. You know, she gonna do what she do. And I know she added that little rapping part at the end, but I really like that song. But um, I'm about to go up in Starbucks because... Um, like I told y'all, I am feeling my passion and my motivation again, and I wanna, I wanna encourage her. So I am going to do some editing here because my house used to be a place I felt productive, but it is just slowly and steadily not becoming that. Like I go home and I don't want to do anything. So we're gonna change up the environment today, and let's see what I can get done in the time that I have. Put you on demon time for real as far as dancing that song right there i mean just the way it starts love chris brown new album he really came hard based on a lot of like his old stuff i'm late to this one but it's definitely another one of those you know because sometimes I'm like oh my gosh like yes women are so beautiful but like there's nothing like a man you know what I'm saying like it's just nothing like a man 
And then other days, I'm like, yup, men ain't, why are men so sassy? Why, like, what is wrong with men? Like, do, 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 da, 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 I'll be right there with y'all. Like, <laughs> it's just like one day everything going good and it's like if stuff start going bad i'm like yup y'all right yep mm -hmm. what's wrong with these new age men like what do we need men for like i just i'm i'm like a gemini i just flip flop on them let it not go my way or like let let it just like let him be having a day a moment or whatever yep I'm back on that side. And then other times I'm just like, man, men are just that. Like, it's just like, yes, like women are beautiful, but I don't know. Like, there's just nothing like a man. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel me? Just let me know. Hey, it's me again. So, I'm over here doing stuff you know per usual y'all i'm just trying to be great okay and i really 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 just feel like i feel like i'm like the girl that's into zodiac signs so i have this really cool idea and like brand that i kind of want to but like I get in my head a little bit because I just feel like I'm always starting and stopping a project. Like, am I not? Like, am I not ever gonna, like, get to completion with something? But, I mean, I am in my 20s. And I'm just trying whatever comes to me, right? So, I'm bobbing and weaving. And I'm going with what works for me. So, yes, I'm on to the next project but i really do believe i always believe in my projects let's just start there but i do believe in this project i believed in my previous project like my picnics not to say my picnics are done but the motivation passion and like foresight whatever the word is for that has really decreased um for a multitude of reasons but really just because i feel like it's not really a solution to any means at this point it is definitely a luxury and i know what i would need to do in order to like you know really get it to grow and become something but like the passion is gone um Cause what it would take is me like showing up making content and like getting out there in front of people with it and i just want to appreciate for i just want to appreciate what it was for what it was and i have realized that already so me going on that journey embarking on it seeing it through doing some picnics and everything led me to my ultimate goal which is to be a creative director and I wouldn't have gotten there if I wasn't creatively directing sets. So I'm thankful for that, you know. But sometimes I'm just like, dang, you know, like I just move on to the next thing. Like, okay, what else are you doing, you know. But I'm just like, that's, we got to keep trying what's going to work, what's going to pop, right. So I'm over here doing um, with my Cricut. I'm cutting out some vinyl some heat transfer vinyl and basically i have this brand idea called my sign language because i've told y'all already i'm really into zodiac signs it's been something that i've studied for a really long time it helps me understand people on like a very like general surface level even deeper if i know you very well and it just helps with like being self-aware i'm like such a self-aware person i have to do give a lot of that to me studying that about myself and as i've said before take what resonates you and leave what doesn't because i've been caught up in it before but that's just a disclaimer anyways i really want to make tote bags and 
honestly i could see this growing beyond the tote bags but this would be the part that i start with but like, i could see me sourcing um zodiac sign necklaces and just all the things you know but like this is a baby that i feel like i really could grow because like i have aspirations of sometimes being a designer and you know like i've said it before i'm like a renaissance woman i don't have one passion i have worked very hard to streamline my passions and i fought against that for the longest because i'm just like why would god put all this in me and on me to not for it not to be worth anything to explore but that junk will have you not see anything through so that is another reason i have like dropped the picnics a bit because it's just like i have to streamline what is most important to me you know so but i'm just like super creative so it's like i have to fuel that energy in me regardless and i've thought about a lot of different ways of how i can even profit off of it so this is something that i feel could be really could be really dope and like it's like i would be the designer the owner and the creative director because the type of creative direction i want to do is um like for fashion or e-commerce but what i realized is a lot of the people that are in those spaces are similar to me in a sense and they like to creatively direct their own campaigns and everything so like getting in on someone's team is a little tricky right now so this is another approach to kind of marrying two of my passions of me wanting to be like a designer of my own but also getting to build my portfolio of creatively directing because i have like marketing campaign ideas for this so yeah <laughs> So right now I just got the um cricket out and I'm about to just print out like three different of my slogans to then add to my tote bag and um I had to like source tote bags and everything so I'm just happy that my stuff is here and I want to just act on this today. And I just thought I'd let y'all know. Oh, see, almost the shiny side down, Jay. You know that. Boy, yeah, yeah. All right, so load her up. Actually, I usually take this down because I need a new cricket mat. That bit is not sticky no more. So. Sometimes my vinyl will be lifting up and then that's a waste of vinyl. And baby, we don't have it like that to be wasting no vinyl. I ain't even gonna hold you. Use every little scrap I have. Cause no ma'am. No ma'am, no him, no turkey. But um, how y'all feel about Beyonce album? I was talking to my homegirl and she was kind of, she says like the similar sentiments as me. But I told her, you got to re-listen to it because just like any album, sometimes like you have to give it a few times because you have like an expectation and then you actually hear the project and it's like, okay, sometimes it will meet your expectation and sometimes it won't. But that doesn't mean that it's just not good, you know? I'm not even like a Beyonce girl. I'm a Rihanna girl. Like, Rihanna will always be number one. Um, but I am in love with Sasha Fierce. I love Beyonce, the performer. And I just wish she would give us more vocals. Like, she really been on this, like, rapping, empowerment, back to my roots, I'm gonna do this with my husband type of vibe. And I feel like she really just checking stuff off of her, like, bucket list as far as creative music like music wise but b like the girls need something to sing to summer got us out here in a chokehold you know what i'm saying that's cool and all but like you know it's just like when is it gonna happen but i really love heated like 
and Drake. I feel like I already talked about this with y'all. Obviously, that's my song. Okay. We already talked about this. So, just watch my cricket. <laughs> Oh, I also wanted to tell y'all about a freaking dream I had. I can't believe I didn't, I can't believe I didn't come and think to tell y'all. So, was it yesterday? It was yesterday. Y'all, I had the worst dream ever. And like, I don't know, sometimes my dreams are just very vivid and they're negative. I don't know what that's about. It's probably my pessimistic ass Capricorn moon. But anyways... Um, like, you know how you have stages of sleep? So, this is around the, like, last stage of sleep. Like, I'm about to get up for the day. This is, like, 6.37, 7.30-ish. And, um, I have an alarm that goes off at, like, 7.36. Don't ask why. That's just what it is. And that goes off every day. <laughs> um, except for Sunday. So... I don't, I don't remember completely if it was like after that came on because I never wake up at my first alarm. Just, just know that about me. So I think I went back to sleep. But that sleep that I usually go back to sleep to is definitely like a good sleep. It's not just like a toss and turn. So I just remember basically being in a horror movie. So I'm in the house with my boyfriend. Some house. And it's it's obvious it's something like his mom's house, um, because it's like out in the freaking woods, like not the woods, but the country, where you know there's not a lot of street lights and like you got neighbors, but everyone just kind of like to themselves. There's not like a lot of stuff going on, so it's very quiet out there. It's very like peaceful in a sense. So we're out there, it's nighttime, we in the house, and basically, someone has come in the house with a gun and is trying to kill us. Trying to kill us. So this is like movie-ish. Like, we are trying to be uh, nimble and swifty and and also strategic as to how we're going to get out of this house without him noticing. And so... We are, like, moving throughout the home, trying to stay out of sight. Like, it's somebody in here trying to kill us. And we, so then we make it out, and we make it into the car, and it's just like, go, 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 come on, come on, come on, we have to go. Like, it's so, it's so much, like, anxiety and fear and adrenaline happening in this dream, y'all. And so, we're driving, so we finally get out and we make it to the car and we've driven away and um i see the guy leave the house so now he's trying to get in the car but we're stepping on it okay like we're stepping on it. So i'm like we should make we should have a amazing head start um and we're not even just driving straight we're bobbing and weaving like we're trying to get far far away and like for him to lose us basically so we think that we're far enough in that way and so we're driving and i don't even know because like in the dream it seems to me that there's more than just me and my boyfriend at this point because we're driving and literally we've come to the point where we feel like we're safe and we've called the police and everything and we're like there's no way he could be near and we look over we don't even look over we're just in that state of mind and the man is next to us and shoots through the window and doesn't kill my boyfriend, but kills my dad. Was it my dad? I don't know. I, let me not say that. Sorry, because I'm just telling lies. I don't remember who the other person was. I feel like it was my dad because I was so hurt in the dream. But it misses my boyfriend, but it kills somebody in the front seat because I'm in the seat behind. And mind you, we're in my mom's car and she has a Murano. So it's the crossover. It needs some Murano. It's the crossover. So there's five seats, but it's like higher up, like a mini SUV. <sighs> Y'all, so 
if I'm not mistaken, we turn and like that's all I remember. Like I woke up and I'm just like, what the fuck? Like why would I dream about that? Why would my mind go there? Why? Why? And that's so short, but in the dream, it was so long. It was the it was the length of trying to get out of the house, the fear of trying to get out the house without, you know what I'm saying? Like it was so much of that and then it was getting to the car and then it was getting out of harm's way and then it was this last part and I'm just like, why the fuck would I dream that? I don't know how I forgot to tell y'all about that, but I did have that dream like a day ago. Like what the heck? It really, it really bothered me. I was like, why would I dream that? And like, cause that's some movie shit for real. And I don't watch action movies. I don't, not by myself. I am a rom-com type of girl. So I don't even know where that came from, but anyway my um so my words are done and so now i'm going to weed it and then you know put them on the tote bags but yeah i absolutely love my cricket like this is one of the best investments i could have ever made and although like i put it down and i don't touch it for a while my creative ass gonna come back to it trust me like trust trust if i gotta make a stencil anything like this is still so convenient versus having to like figure out like figure out some shit like no i have a whole tool a whole tool what I'm thinking today bitch you know what I'm saying I wanted y'all to get a little glimpse of how wise she is and she just reminds me of myself because I am the same way I'm just it's more like in the moment for me and like in the present and everything like that like I don't know how to impart that to you guys just yet but God's working on me he's showing me the way and um I really hope that I can show up in my own way but I'm still figuring it out but yeah I really need to get back to doing my devotionals every night I really do I really, really, really do, but new chapters are starting in my life. I'm closing this chapter that I was in. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of how I handle adversity this year. And in the middle of it, you know, I battled with if I was doing a good job. Not even actually, just I just battle with the different emotions that come with that. 
but y'all i really feel like i did a good job like i remained present i was able to be happy i was able to share joy i was able to make people's day still in the midst of not knowing where i'm headed you know not really liking where i'm at like i'm just so proud of that and in it you hate it you know what i'm saying but i found a way to not just dread it and hate it but to just be be in it allow for it to happen and move through that i'm obviously gonna come out of that so much better and i just want to thank the most high for that you know it's not ideal but it's necessary so just take that with you the next time you feel like you're in a phase of WTF and like why me you know how they say like don't ask God why you ask him to show you what it's supposed to teach you and everything try your best to be a student in that and if you can't be a student to find like to figure why it's happening to you and how you're like what you're supposed to learn at the very least take this with you be present because life is a gift and life is a feeling process and we are humans and that is our power um and it's our power but also our detriment you know what i'm saying so just be and it's so hard to just be in this day and age so trust me i get it but just be um and don't get me wrong like i said it's hard because you don't understand how happy i am to get have came out of just going through the motions but it's truly all that i could do at that time to still be present and be in the moment of what is happening around me because so much is so much good is happening around me it might not be happening for me it might be happening for others that are in my circle you know i got my niece like that is something to enjoy and to bask in and i've created such special memories with her and like a bond so you have to just tap into the things that aren't necessarily happening for you but are happening to you or around you i hope i'm making sense but that's just my little nugget for you and i hope you hit home for somebody um my boyfriend is over here knocked out Apparently he was watching Booty Call. Y'all, one thing about it, Jim is going to go to sleep. Like, he don't care if I'm going to sleep, but he's going to sleep. But I'm going to just do the same. Ciao for now. Day. I'm feeling dumb, feeling regretful of my decision. Hold on, because like this is not. So as we've mentioned before, um, I walked away from a salary paying position that ultimately I just felt like I wasn't growing or, um, like just a placeholder. And today I'm feeling a bit regretful of leaving that role in the way that i did because money has become such a thing right now in my life and 
I've made progress. I have a job now. But again, nowhere near the security of what I had. Um, but I'm still very thankful for something other than, you know, just kind of like watching my knees. Like, at least I am going to be resume building and doing something that I really feel like could be very fulfilled in and grow in. So, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand that I have made a step closer. <laughs> but, it's like so... Like, where I was when I decided to leave my job was so like... I could do better than this like I should be making more money um all the things and honestly like I could have just stayed and got paid you know what I'm saying but where my mind was was just like I'm young and I don't have to just be here because I have bills to be paid and things like that like that's not my reality so I didn't act on that but I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be honest with myself and honest with you guys. Like, that wasn't the best decision. Like, I'm thankful for the growth that I've made and I'm, I'm very happy with the fact that I trusted myself and, and, and embarked on that and took that risk. Um, but with my personality, I knew this would be hard and it has been. And for the trade-off not to be something equivalent or better equivalent or better than what and where I started it makes me feel like this wasn't worth it even more so you know um I'm open to learning later down the road that this was exactly what was supposed to take place and I really do hope that that is part of the story being told here and the journey being experienced but yeah like I'm God I'm receiving that but in this moment and with some of the things that I've had to deal with today which is just like my accounts being overdrawn and from like automatic payments of stupid stuff like freaking um streaming services that i really didn't even care to have i just wanted to watch a show and at the time i had the money but the payment didn't go through until later when the money is not there and just like like gym membership and extra 2.99 for apple and stars so i could watch pbay like very very silly things but with the way my bank is set up i'm getting hit 30 dollars every time because those are pushed through paypal and it's just like a whole thing so i can't get them removed so i did the adult thing i got paid today and i did the adult thing to bring my accounts back to positive but it just had me thinking like you are so like it just had me thinking like Sorry, I just really feel like I need to like get it together. Um, it just had me really thinking like you were so never was I not grateful for where I was, but I felt like I could be somewhere better and make more money. And like hindsight is twenty twenty and it's just like you were so blessed and now you're in this position. And it's just, I just think about how this, these things wouldn't be a thing if you know I was still in that position. Salary, benefits, like all the things that people look for, you know, and I just had to step away from it with nothing lined up. Because even the coolest testimonials of stories you hear from people who got to finally quit their full-time job to do what they are passionate about they don't make that move until the other one is secure and I didn't do that 
But what I did do and what I try to hold on to, what I try my best to hold on to is that I stepped up. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I just, I try to hold on to that because it's something that, like, the weight of it doesn't compare. And I stepped up to help my family and that's where the universe was calling me to at that time but I am feeling a little bit of like regret but trust me I know jobs come and go like jobs are always gonna be there and I'm tr I hold on to those things right I'm just having this moment right now because of my financial situation and like just the simple fact that I was literally waiting on this payday just for it to have to go towards bringing my accounts back up so I'm right back where I started on Monday with nothing and it's like the moment I try to stay like home like not do too much like I haven't shot for myself in so long I haven't done anything for myself for so long like come on guys y'all been seeing me with a struggle bun and everything for weeks like my nails done my nails are done sometimes not all the time and that's press-ons like I'm keeping it really real and like not being of the world and just Dealing with, like you being in what God has given me and not feeling the pressure to have my hair done, my nails like been working through all of that. And like and don't get me wrong, y'all. I live at home. I have parents who are very supportive and will help me. I just don't like that that's where I am. I don't want to be asking. I don't want to be Pleaded my case as to can somebody give me this extra 50 or this like I don't want to be there that's not where I feel like like I know it's an option but it's not something that I ever take advantage of exploit or anything if I'm asking I really need it so even if I really do need it I will just sit in this and write it out you know like because it's not a life or death situation it's just something that I have to sit with and I'm letting it affect me so that when my blessings come again I will not act on and repeat those same habits I mean so much more money cautious financially literate intentional budgeting like that's what all of this is about and I recognize that. But for my personality, a Taurus, a Capricorn moon, like, those earth side elements, this shit is hard to deal with because security is everything. And being able to provide for myself is everything. And I'm uncomfortable. I've been uncomfortable for months. I, y'all know I've been doing the work to remain positive, remain present, remain patient, and I thank God for my opportunities that have come. It's just that it's it's not what I saw, and so it's still going to be, it's not going to be as easy as it was coming initially, and I'm just reflecting because I thought that that wasn't enough, but here I am in situations that are even less, so, you know. Make sure you're able to recognize your blessings. And I'm going to say it again because don't get it twisted. I always knew it was a blessing. I told y'all it carried me through the pandemic. I had no worries. My job was secure. Like all the things. So. Don't ever get it twisted. I'm, I'm not impulsive like that. I'm not. But it was heavy on my heart to make a change. And I did. And I hoped and pray that it would be replaced with something equivalent or equal to and i'm lying because i did not pray for that i assumed that that would be the case 
what I prayed for was for my next my next endeavor, my next opportunity to be more aligned with my interests. And guess what? That's what I got. Never did I talk about the pay. Never did I say would it be equivalent or better to. It was always about being aligned with my interests. And I got that. But now I need to be present. Like at least start to embark on this journey. Like I haven't even really gotten into it yet. And I'm already like. I need to look for something more equivalent or better, you know, but I just had this rush of emotion come over me and so I wanted to talk it out because typically I would just sit here and the conversation would be internally like I told y'all, but I wanted to, I wanted to share because, like I said, I want to show more raw and relatable, like, things. And my intention is not to come on here crying, but this was a moment of, like, self-reflection and self-awareness and accountability. And I told you guys, I'm very good at that when it comes to myself. So, I would just hope that through my experience you learn to do the same for yourself and or you can you know like level with me because you've been here before too so I'm gonna put some music on and try to like decompress and enjoy the rest of my Friday because at the end of the day I at least ordered my mom her crocs for her birthday so I ain't got shit to my name but my mom has a gift and my accounts are back in the positive so took care of what was needed to be taken care of and we're just gonna you know ride it out y'all it's later and i um <laughs> i've definitely got a grip now and i'm enjoying my friday so But I'm about to go pick up my mama um, Crocs that I ordered. And so I'm just supposed to pick them up. Make sure this shit don't spill. Okay. I'm just supposed to come in here and pick them up. I already paid for them. And then right next door is Michael's. And I'm not even going in there for me. So don't. Well, you say something. I'm not even going there for me. I am helping my homegirl sister with her birthday outfit and so i'm gonna make her those like really freaking cute as ostrich feather skirts you might have been seeing i know the king of style he did one and then he's been doing like a lot of ostrich feather stuff but i'm supposed to be um making her that so i'm just gonna look for just to see if they have it in there i don't think they do I've been ordering off Amazon, but I just wanted to check for her, and I also need some, um, some, um, sewing bread, so, yep. Uh, I catch my angel number all the time, like, ever since I've been spiritually awoken and working on that, yo. I see these mugs all the time. 444, period. That's my people them let me know, like, baby, we got you. We got you. We we in other dimensions, other realms, other everything, and we looking out. My ancestors, my, my everything. You know what I'm saying? Ever since I tapped in. Let us put on the show until the curtains close. Oh well, my bed will be a stage as we improvise. Mm 
good. What a top. I did give you a top. You did not give me a top. Definitely gave you a top. Give me a top. I definitely gave you a top. So, I am getting ready for my mama's birthday weekend. Leo season. My mama is a Leo. I got so many friends who have Leo moms, and we all agree they're the best moms. This time next year I'll be living so good I won't bear my no pain, I swear. I feel that because. Because 2023 got to be better than 2022. It's got to be. This is like back in a caterpillar, you know, kind of stage. Why did I do that? I hate when I put this on up there. That's what happens when you talk and do your makeup. Do that. Yeah, I hate that I put that up there. But anyways, Leo season. Getting ready for my mom's birthday dinner. Then tomorrow, we will be doing brunch and top calls. I wanted to take her to see the movie Nope, but she went out shopping yesterday and then today she cleaned her room and I did some work and she went out to go get her eyebrows done so I don't know when that will happen but if I don't go with nobody I'm going by myself because I want to see Nope and I've been saying I need to take myself out like I don't have to be home every day you know but okay we'll see y'all at the restaurant guess who came guess who's in the building oh oh yeah oh oh yeah oh it's tolly bean oh it's tolly bean with a tooth to be singing now snaggle snaggle tooth <laughs> hello i am ready i'm in my um parents room the birthday girl is still working on her ensemble, so we ain't going nowhere to the birthday girl ready, okay? But I am wearing this maxi dress with pockets. OMG, with pockets. Um, I got this from um like a elevated thrift store. It's called Label Swap, and they like carry very like up to date clothing that somebody probably wore one time and felt like somebody else could relove it so i have this on i forget the actual brand of this but when i saw it i was like that's for me and y'all know i of course i'm wearing pink like of course it's just my color at this point um and then i have these natasha earrings if you shop at like marshall's ross even dillard's you know the brand natasha she makes really um special statement piece earrings um and so i try to pop these out as much as i can and i felt like this was a moment and then i'm wearing my kurt geiger multi and yeah so oof, that's really right but yeah mommy what what restaurant are we going to circles circle that's south we going to apollo beach like we never go south so i'm excited to see you know apollo beach a little bit we usually go into tampa so this will be cool and everybody's here talia tenille jamil dad mom so august 6th my mom's birthday is tomorrow like i said we're doing brunch and Top golf tomorrow, and Jim might come, but I'm not saying that out loud because because that be lying. He'll be lying, but things happen, so it's still a lie. But yeah, like I said, I'll see y'all at the uh, restaurant. I just wanted to come on here because I'm looking real cute, and um, I just want to say I don't wear foundation anymore. It's it's unnecessary. Um. 
So this is just concealer, contour, powder. Yes, I just have not gotten ready to so I feel cute. Okay. These want... earrings. I think the earrings would be fine, but I need to change the necklace, right? Oh, I love the earrings. Okay. The necklace is giving a different yeah. vibe. Those don't listen. They don't listen at all. Yeah. When you do your toes before I can do your eyeshadow? Um, yeah. Why not sit here? Go ahead. Go ahead, baby. <laughs> the eyeshadow? Yeah. No. You are a painter, yes, but uh you you like that. Go your ahead. your artistic style is um rough. No. You gonna throw a little green or purple in there. <laughs> Let like. me do it. Let me do it. I bet you I can make it lighter up beautifully. We'll have layers. Yeah, you like that. And we add. blend it in like so perfectly and you smoothly. Like But you saw it though, you saw the results. Huh? And then you're gonna outline it. I'm telling you. Nobody listens to me. Who's that girl? I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm officially. No. That's wrong. I just wanted to come on here and say, I just want to do a disclaimer first that I am traditionally, I am traditionally a late adopter. So when I say this, don't be surprised. But I'm officially a fan of TikTok. Like, it's been happening over the course of the last few weeks. It's like I open up the Instagram app and I hate everything that I see. My favorite thing on there is stories and messy blog pages. Because it's just like, where's the update? Where's the... Like, what am I opening the app for to be updated on? Um, all you see on the timeline is need to know information. Like somebody giving you a nugget of information that, oh, let me save that because that could come in handy. Like, no entertainment. The freaking influencers, they're, they're like scared to post shit now. So, there's no entertainment. Most entertainment is the stories because people are updating that every day. And because no one's posting pictures no more. Like, nobody. Unless they're already an influencer, which that's not exciting so yeah i'm officially like a fan of tiktok over the last couple of days i've spent a lot of time on tiktok and i understand because i'm finding like new tiktokers content that i like and then i go through all their content because i'm so late so like i have so much to catch up on so yeah um in 2023 god willing i'ma come hard on tiktok not even come hard, but like I'm gonna start showing up on TikTok because I really had a plan. I need to plan ahead. I don't want to just jump in it like, um, y'all probably like, girl, it's just TikTok. But I'm gonna post here and there, but like I'm gonna come like consistent in the new year. This year, I just need to make it through this year, and you know. Follow through and learn everything that God wanted to teach me this year. So I'm not going to put my focus on no TikTok because that's just distracting. So for now, I'm just going to be a viewer and I'll post on there sometimes. But I'm going to come hard on TikTok next year. Um, other than that, I'm back home from the um dinner. It was really nice. My boyfriend comes to see me. We got to go there. Um, I had two lemon drops. And girl, when I tell you, uh, when I drank the first one, I was just like, what the fuck is this? Because it was so strong. It was so strong that it was nasty. But then like my sister-in-law, she put it in perspective. She was like, I never complain when a drink is too strong. Because most of the time when you order a mixed drink, 
that shit is sweet syrup and I'm like you right so I just wrote it out so I'm here now and I felt really cute with my makeup and stuff so I left it on because I just got out of the shower so I left it on but my boyfriend is not answering the phone so I was like I'm gonna talk to my camera I'm gonna talk to y'all because I want somebody to see me in my makeup a little bit, you know. I feel real cute. But I can't. I don't know how people sleep in makeup because I feel this shit on my face. It's got to come off. That's how I am. Like, I can't. Like, that's why I don't wear wigs because I need that bitch to come off every night. And glueless wigs cost. So, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I just be like, no. But I was feeling like. I'm gonna have to get with it because the girl's hair grows so much in wigs for like obvious reasons. But I just need that bitch to come off every night. I cannot sleep in no wig. I could do it for maybe like the first two days because by the third day my head is itching. And I just like to feel my scalp. I just feel hot. I just feel like it's so much on my head. Rambling. Like I said, I really just wanted to talk because I look cute. I don't have my earrings in no more. Well, let me show y'all my own Polaroid pictures because they are so cute. They are so cute. So I took a freaking selfie um, with my Polaroid camera because did y'all know the new Polaroid cameras have the freaking selfie thing? So basically, basically, that little thing right there is so you can see yourself to take a selfie. I didn't know that. I've had this for probably all year. But um, these are my Polaroid pictures. Like, look at my selfie. I'm so pretty. That's my selfie. And then this is me and my baby bean. Look how big she is. Oh my god. She was so sleepy, but yeah. Those are my Polaroid pictures. All right, y'all. Honestly, I need to go to sleep. It's 12. In the way, I told y'all I had two lemon drops. I've been working all day on my videos. Um, I wish I could work on it tonight, but it's just not happening. I have to be up in the morning because tomorrow is Sunday fun day. Tomorrow's my mama's birthday. Well, today. And we're doing brunch and top golf. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I am clocking out. <laughs>